So uh, welcome back, Craig Lynn and David Bishop here on the mics. Here, welcome back at the venue and uh, at home uh, on GB Hydro live stream. Dave Bishop, immortal, looking very strong once again. Yeah, Gouch, he's uh, been out quite a few times today. He's obviously very keen to try and get his boat dialed in as best as he can before hot laps this afternoon, and then of course heats after that. So um, I just hope he doesn't wear the thing out. To practice. So up into uh, turn number one for the second time there, Linny, and just let's watch its attitude on the exit of this uh, turn number one. Stands it up, looks very good actually, mate. Yellow flag, so one to go now for the gout. Runs a pretty level attitude in this boat as opposed to someone like Marlins that really flies the boat high. Um, Mark just uh, runs it hard down on the water, and, and there's a reason for that, you know, it's a smaller boat, so... He doesn't want to hang it up too high because it become unstable, but he's happy with what he's done. Well, he's either happy or unhappy with what he's done, but uh, he's uh, pulled the pin on it. Um, well, this boat, as we said earlier on, got damaged uh, quite badly at South Australia. They did end up doing a, a, a very quick repair at the site and getting it back out on the track uh, for the Adelaide round, but uh, this guy's sitting on top of the points table but this boat was actually didn't even have an engine in it yesterday. So um, they've done a hell of a lot of fiberglass work. It's got a new transom, a new floor, new stringers. Um, Dave Turner from Connolly Craft Boats has put the boat together. He's done a beautiful job. I went down and had a little bit of a look at it uh, this morning, mate. It looks fantastic. And then obviously bolting all the engine back in, all the cavitation plate system, the skeg. Uh, the whole lot that needed to be put back in the boat and now they're just going to run it around I wouldn't expect him to lean on it too hard in this session but uh, great to see the boat on the water and running around and what an epic effort from the Abago team to get this boat even back out onto the water mate Yeah it certainly is uh, Bisho and the, you know, to think that they went to fix a problem and when they tried to fix the initial problem they found all these other problems Yeah. so um, thank goodness they did find it um, but hell of a big job and to think that yesterday we were watching on Facebook the engine being lowered back into the uh, into the hull and that was late um, yesterday afternoon so. yeah the work even extended mate to the spray rails on the front of the boat had to be redone as well so they have done an epic amount of work on this boat and it's fantastic to see it on the water have a go twin turbocharged and Craig Storner current national drivers championship leader and well, he's got plenty of guys that want to take that title off him here this weekend. It's been, been a massive effort, as you said, Dave, from uh, Dave Turner there, uh, from Connolly Boats. Um, it was no small job, but uh, well done on uh, all concerned. Yeah, he's starting to lean on it a bit now, so uh, he'll just be getting a feel for the boat. Um, it'd be interesting to know whether it feels any different to uh, when he stepped out of it at Adelaide. Of course, we're running in fresh water here as well, Linny, which is uh, totally different to the Adelaide Speedboat Club, where it was salt water. Um, so salt water is a lot denser than fresh water, so the boats tend to sit up a lot more in the salt water. And they also go quicker in salt water because the, uh, the propellers have got a harder substance to push against. So uh, the boats are actually quicker and, of course, they plane better in that, that more dense uh, condition. So um, the boat will be different to uh, Adelaide, but... Uh, huh? No, I'm really wrong. <laughs> I always thought that, Bisho, with salt water. Yeah. That, um, that, and it, but it comes to an extent to the salinity of the water. It goes, once the salt salinity gets higher, it actually slows the boats back down again. Really? Um, the HRL Unlimited in America have dramas that actually go slower in one of the lakes, uh, in one of the bays over there with higher salt content. Yeah. That the boats actually go slower, dragging the fin through the salt and yeah, turning yeah. through it. Well, it's, it's a hydroplane thing, yeah. It's all more friction. Yeah. So, so yeah. There's, there's something to add to. not sure. So, Darren, another one of our water ski racing friends. Does a lot of racing up he this way, Dave. a lot of racing, mate. Yes, this is a 18-foot uh, bullet hull. Uh, training a 
14 inch midsection on a 280 2.5 litre V6 Mercury. That breeze keeps up, mate. I might have to put a top on. What's going on here? Yes, absolutely. How good was lunch, Lenny? Oh, <laughs> uh, I tell you what, can we go back for seconds? Oh, mate, I'd love to. Nick. Nicole Sherry and the crew over there oh. built them for us. So thank you, ladies. Absolutely spectacular. I don't think we need to worry about where we're going. Oh, we've had a bit of a spin out. Yeah, a bit of a dippy doodle Hitch. there for uh, Darren Hitchcock. Uh, it's not the first boat Darren spun out. Don't worry about that. It's got a lot of trim into it, Linny. Yeah, nice rooster tail. So that would have uh, got his attention, I'm sure. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, so thanks again to Nicole Sherry and Co. Uh, on behalf of uh, Dave Bishop and Craig Lynn, sensational lunch, ladies. But uh, Darren Hitchcock just going around the top turn. Of course, uh, we'll announce all our naming rights sponsors a little bit later. So Darren Hitchcock will pick up the chequered flag. That'll be his test laps done. I reckon he's going to head off and uh, maybe play around with a few propellers and things with that boat. As Hitch picks up the chequered flag, it comes through. Little 18-foot bullet hull. A boat that's very close to my heart, actually, Linny. Chasing speed, it's called. Yeah, so more Bishop history here, is it? Well, I do own one of those, well, mate. Yeah, 50 years, wasn't it? Yeah, I think. Yes. Don, Don Cameron, what a man he was. And I, I just sat back and the, the history involved in, in the in the bullet boats, mate, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, uh, they look, uh, look incredibly fast, even just sitting on the trailer. Here we go, Heath Hamilton now. And uh, good to see that that little pop, I did, uh, did speak to the crew and the boat actually just... Shut it so oh Heath really has a hook there as he gets the power down, so he needs to be a little bit careful of that. Boat sounds good now though. Oh, it's a bit smoky. So a little bit of smoke coming out the back of that boat at the moment, I can see. They have had some inlet manifold issues with the boat. Sounding a little bit better under speed here, Dave. Yeah, I'm just a little bit worried about that smoke that we can see yeah. coming out the back of the boat. Linny, let's hope it's nothing too serious. So he picks up a yellow flag, but it sounds like he's going to shut this one down. So they have been working pretty hard on this boat. You can see smoke in the uh, front of the engine there, just behind the cockpit. So they've got uh, a bit of a leak there, whatever that happens to be for some reason. Let's hope they can get it sorted out. 